So our first cabin on our second day, exploring the secrets of the Mojave. Yeah, this one better be worth it after the road coming in here. <laughs> I used to race on neater motocross tracks than that. <laughs> By looking at it, no. Ah, and that sound. With the door. Not much left in here at all, actually. No, this is very Some firewood. Minimal. Oh, very disappointing. Mm. Okay. Now I wonder if they're uh, continuing to do work to this then? I don't in the know. stages of rehab? Because they have brought out a tarp and then you can hear the metal blowing. Work in progress, I'm guessing. And I don't know any history about this place either. Let's have a quick look round the outside. Yeah, not much to it at all. So, uh, what's that was next? a bit disappointing, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. Hope the next one's better. I don't know, I'll have to work some magic. See what I have pinned in the atlas. Mm. roads that these trailers have absolutely no business being up it makes you wonder how in the hell they got out here it's not just because the roads are rough but they undulate you know so, I mean something that long would have a very hard time coming up here and we're kind of in two minds about this one we might have come across one of the famous Mojave meth lab situations here um, Cause you see this, the trailers are in pretty decent shape. Um, you got that back cabin you can't get to. But this motorhome, although it is old, now you see the screen around the front window, curtains are drawn, but nothing is broken or tattered. It looks taken care of. So, We're gonna leave this one be, just to be on the safe side. We haven't seen any other tire tracks coming up here. But I'll just kinda walk around the outside, show you the, the lay of the land here. We're not sure if that's a, a camera installed up there, but the water container, that looks new. I mean, it could be an illegal mining operation, or like we say. Something else illegal going on.
Now I do know a little bit of history about this place. This was part of a mining camp back in the day. Um, and then it was deserted. It never, the mining operation never came to much. But then a couple of decades ago, a gentleman decided to adopt it and he came, was coming out here and he restored the cabin. And unfortunately, one day after he had been out here, he was on his way back home and tragically died in a car accident. Aww. True story. Oh, the wind's picked up. Big time. Build sink. The washing machine. This is really cool. Pepsi Cola, yeah. old fridge. Home to a rat now. Regular fridge. It's like a serval or something. I just love the, my favorite word, the patina that <laughs> is left on this from the desert. All these old wash machines. No, it's a shame people have uh, shot them up. Yeah. What a quaint little cabin. It is, it's really no, neat, nicely done. No dogs, golfing, tobacco allowed. Huh, I wonder why not golfing. Uh, I guess not to hit the windows, yeah. or just. All right. Welcome little... strangers. Beautiful porch. Shall we see what's inside? <laughs> what an adorable little cabin. Wow. Very cozy. It's cute. And this is the gentleman, I'm not going to read it out, mm. but this is the gentleman who volunteered up here and maintained the cabin and he died in 2013. Yeah. I think there's a bunch of... Uh, about older photos of this area. Looks like in progress. That's really neat. All the bottles of Jim Bean and... That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Black Velvet. Seagram's, seven. Some Seagram's, there you go. I've never heard of that. Blended whiskey. Vodka. So this must have all been repurposed, or was the stove, because there's a stove hole there. Looks like it could have been repurposed. Mind you, don't knock there. Yeah, okay, so in here, paper cups, loo roll, soap. Mmm, that's a nice smelling cabinet. Spark plug in there, I don't know. What's, what's that all about? This is so sweet. It is, and because you can hear the wind is absolutely blustering outside, I don't feel any breeze at all, so this is good to come out of the elements. There's a pantry, stocked with some food. Save your life in a, in a pinch. Mm -hmm. Old movie posters everywhere. The logbook, which I'm going to sign. So the last person that came up here was the 26th of November, 2022. Not too long ago. So I know that this place does have a loop. <laughs> and walking around back here, we found there's another room. Cute porch. Yeah, just uh, maybe a little like a reading room. Yeah, just an extra getaway from everybody. All right, we've locked up the reading room, and now... Come on, say it with me. On the count of three. One, 
two, three, and no trip would be complete without a trip to the loo. Let's take a look. It's got little windows. Nice ventilation. The barbecue, I would probably barbecue somewhere else. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> well, I must say, it's one of the cleanest loos I've seen. I'm not going to open it, but you've got your toilet roll, your wet wipes. I don't know what the little... Is that a scenty candle thing? No, I don't... I don't know what you'd put on top of that, the little tulip. Okay, and then a Hollywood starlet. Yeah. Huh, cool. Nice. I don't know why you'd use a plunger. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's got a good sense of humor. And on to our next surprise. So this was built in 1958. Really? By a prospector by the name of Frank. Yeah, so, uh, uh, wow. So Frank, a prospector, built this in 1958 and he lived here for 30 years. Can you believe it? Wow. Well, it's very, I mean, just one long and narrow, long, narrow room. Stove yeah. would have been here. Yeah, not much too. You can see some people have come up to place some items, some <laughs> pictures on the wall, make it more homely and done some repairs. So that's neat. Well, it was a volunteer's cabin because there's a flag, although it's a little bit worse for wear. Really bad shape, that's not good. Yeah, I don't know when the last time somebody was out here. Let's have a look around outside. Yeah.
Pukki here. It's an, uh, an incline here. Or is that a vertical? Oh, I don't know, oh. but it's very dark. Let's... How far does it go down? That's absolutely useless, that torch. Pretty much. Well, you can I can see a little way it, it angles down. It looks like it flattens out. What, well, into a, a Into like an a drift. actual drift. You can see that piece of wood down there, kinda. Unless that's collapsed. Yeah, it's hard to kinda make it out. Huh. Yeah, that torch isn't bright enough to go down there. No. And again, like with all these mining roads, there's got to be other adits and mines. Oh, everywhere. absolutely. Okay, there's a few more things we can check out, I think, though. So, shall we take a look and see Frank's loo? Somebody's put a new step there. Just a plain nice. little old outhouse. Good condition, no door. Yeah, no door, but if you're out here on your own, I mean, <laughs> I guess you can hear if people are coming better. <laughs> do you enjoy what we do? Would you like more adventures? Maybe some behind the scenes footage? Then why not join our Patreon? It helps support this channel and these explorers. The link is in the description below.